What is going on guys? Stu here back with another Marvel Strike Force video. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day. Today guys, I am going to be discussing why Quicksilver is basically a trap with the dark promotion credits and why you should be saving them for Nova instead. I believe that Nova is going to be a way, way better character that you can use your dark promotion credits on. I even made a video about it where I said who the best two characters are going to be to use dark promotion credits. So if you haven't seen that video already, please do check it out. It is a video that I highly recommend watching. Now, just wanted to apologize again for the lack of uploads yesterday because I was on a trip with my cousin. We went to Montreal to explore the city and all that. So that is why I did not upload yesterday. But if you guys want to hear my opinion on why I think Quicksilver is a trap and why I think you should be hoarding your dark promotion credits, then let's stick around for the video so if you do like the video please be sure to like and subscribe and let's get into the what do you call it intro Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Marvel Strike Force video. Hopefully you guys are doing great. Always a pleasure to be recording a video for you guys. Let us discuss my opinions on Quicksilver, guys. So, if you have watched my preparations for Dark Dimension, oh God, these pop-up offers. If you watched my recommendation uh, recommendations for Dark Dimension 5 and 6, I did say that Quicksilver was going to be a fantastic choice in that section going forward. However, I, based off of what I've seen and what all of I like everything that Scopely has been telling us it looks like it's going to be the same situation as zombie Iron Man where they're going to make him limited time and where you're only going to be able to purchase him like one or two times at like the initial offers and then you're going to have to very slowly earn him over time with the shards we don't know how many shards we're going to be getting we don't know if it's locked behind Cosmic Crucible maybe it's like rewards at the end of a Cosmic Crucible tournament where you're going to get like 10 or 20 shards per round um sorry but yeah, so Nova is also around the corner, guys, and I do have a very strong hunch. I'm not saying that this is a confirmation or anything, so say what I'm sorry, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt here. However, I have a very strong feeling that Nova is also going to be dark promotion credits, and I think that Quicksilver is honestly going to be a trap. Not only is it going to be a trap, guys, but Quicksilver, hold on, why did I not have him hearted for this video? My apologies. Quicksilver is going to be very limited in the stars. So if you are going to be upgrading red stars for him, let's say you want a four star or a five red star, it's gonna, it's probably going to be a very long time before you get those stars to really fill in in his red stars anyway. So you're better off just waiting until you actually want to, you know, like you actually have the stars for him and then waiting to hoard those dark promotion credits. So that way you can get those red stars going forward. Let's be honest, a three star mixed with a three red star isn't really going to do much difference total. What is the difference? A 20% stat increase, sure, whatever. But let's be honest, it's going to cost you a crap load of dark promotion credits to get those three red stars. But... If you have Nova, guys, Nova is going to be a very, very important character. Not only is it going to be an important character, you're also going to be getting stars on him a lot faster than Quicksilver, and that is just my hunch. He is going to be a Scourge Unlock Legendary, so we all know that the Scourge Legendaries in the past have been Dark Promotion credits, and that's why I have a strong hunch that he is also going to be the same. So... Quicksilver or Nova? Who should you really go for? And I'm going to say, guys, Nova's a better choice. Like, he's, we already know how powerful Red Hulk is with his battlefield effect, being a, being one of the strongest characters in the game. And I have a very strong hunch that Nova is going to be a counter to the Gamma team in war going forward and being able to one shot Gamma being able to counter his battlefield effect with probably a different battlefield effect of his own the higher red stars that you do have on him, I believe is going to make a huge difference. So I, I think Quicksilver is just going to be a really big trap for everybody. Like, I believe that he's a whale only character. I hate to say it, but he really just seems like he's going to be for whales only at this certain time. And then the rest of us are going to have to wait over time to really get those stars on him unlocked. Uh, I still plan to take him into the Scourge as my fifth character. Even with the low amount of stars that he's going to have, I still believe that he's going to be a better character than Absorbing Man anyways. Not only that, Absorbing Man, if you haven't really been grinding super hard in this game when he came out, you're not going to have that many stars on him anyway you'd be lucky to have a four star right now honestly i don't even know how i got four stars on him because i've just been doing the events and somehow i got a four star so if you're in my situation and you have a four star and you already have him built then sure go ahead take him into the scourge but i'm going to be building quicksilver personally eventually i will get some use out of him one day but i don't need the red stars right now like like honestly guys do you really need the red stars right now no so i recommend hoarding them for nova just to see if he is a dark promotion credit character and i have a very strong hunch that he is going to be anyway but yeah in my opinion quicksilver is just not worth the red stars right now uh 
because I, I he is going to be dark promotion credits so it's just not worth it it's better off to see if Nova's going to be the red stars with the dark promotion credits because you're going to be getting a lot more stars for him over time like Quicksilver you you might have a three star for like a whole year who knows they said he's going to be very limited in the stars department so we don't know how what's going to happen but yeah um really really just wanted to make this video and recommend to you guys to save your dark promotion credits there's really no harm in saving them right now anyways if you do see that quicksilver is worth it in the future then yeah sure you can build the dark promotion credits on him but it's also no harm to wait and see if nova is too because we all know how good red hulk is with the more red stars with his battlefield effect so Nova's probably going to be the same, am I right? Like, it, maybe it's a healing battlefield effect or something. We don't know. And again, we don't know if he's going to be dark promotion credits, and I'm probably repeating myself a hundred times, so I apologize. But I really, really highly recommend that you guys save your dark promotion credits for him. I think that the Quicksilver is a trap, especially for newer players, and I don't recommend doing it. But, guys, that is going to be it for me today. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video on why I think that Quicksilver is basically a trap right now. He's a trap character, and to waste all your dark promotion credits on so you have nothing left for nova and i think you should wait for nova because i think he's going to be a better character overall and have a way bigger impact on the meta but if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff i'm definitely going to be posting more marvel strike force content in the future so if you do enjoy the videos please be sure to subscribe i'll definitely be around guys i'm gonna be in this game until it dies because i love this game so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i hope to make another video soon peace out guys